Welcome back to Great Day Washington. All right, you've probably been hearing the name Miles Frost quite a bit lately. That's because the Maryland native and Bowie State alum recently became the youngest solo Tony Award winner for his portrayal of Michael Jackson in MJ the Musical. Even more incredible, he won the Tony just four months after his Broadway debut. I recently caught up with Miles to see if he's still flying high. And the Tony Award goes to Miles Frost in the All right, let me ask you about the night, right? You are there, you have your family with you, an incredible night. What did you think going in? Did you think there was a possibility? Like, what was going through your mind? Well, I mean, I knew there was a possibility, but I came into this whole process from the jump just being super humble because, you know, I recognized that I, on paper, and the least qualified out of everybody that was in my category. So, you know, I, I really wasn't going in expecting anything. You know, I was just really there to experience the moment and just, I've never been to the Tonys before. It's yeah. like, you know, this is it's a moment within itself, whether I, you know, win or not. You know, this is a beautiful moment. I am you know get to be amongst so many talented people and so many beautiful people. And so just the win was just the icing on the cake and just sharing that moment with my family was, was crazy. Your talent has always been there and is just surpassed, you know, so many that we've seen. Is it true that your mom, when you were born, put a bib around your neck that said a star is born? Yes, yes. That was my first outfit. My first outfit that I've ever worn in my life was a, was a little bib, <laughs> like a little shirt that said a star is born. Not only is it your first Broadway show, but to play the king of pop. I mean, what was the thought of that and the pressure and to be possibly play Michael Jackson? When you had this this opportunity on, on, on your plate and on, on the table in front of you, you automatically, at least for me, you know, automatically thought about all the positives and negatives that come with that. You know, the pressures that come with that, you know, this is my first big thing. So this is either gonna make or break my career before it even starts. You know, so I had to decide at 21 at the time, am I ready for that type of responsibility? And I'm, am I mature enough to handle the things that come after that? Skipping to the end, when they told me that I got the role, you know, I was happy for a good few minutes. And I told my sister, you know, I ran into her room, said, I got it, I got it. But then I really had to sit with it and make that decision. And I said, you know what? God's not going to put something in front of my face and just kind of tease me with it. So I, I'm, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to go and I'm going to give it all, all that I have. And look where it got you. I mean, you're up there on that stage winning a Tony Award. And I know like so many of us know Michael Jackson, obviously, in the music. He's iconic. But is it true you and your mom, like you guys would dance to it when you were a kid? Like you knew Michael Jackson and the feels and all of that. Yeah, and it was it's something that you don't realize that you're learning or putting into your body until it's an opportunity presents itself and then you're like, Oh, do this, you know, and, and that's that's really what it was. You know, all those times, you know, my mom and I dancing in the kitchen to to Michael and you know, I, I remember those moments and those are moments that we can now look back on and be like, Wow, like look look how far we've come from that moment and those pure genuine mother-son moments to having pure genuine mother-son moments at the tony awards and me just showing her in the best light and just telling how much i love her the story just gives me goosebumps i mean that full circle that seed was planted when you were a young kid as you're preparing to play michael jackson what did you learn about him um just kind of you know, whether it's the music, the moves, what did you learn most about him that you were surprised of? Um, how deep his work ethic goes. And I always talk about Michael's work ethic because it's really one of, like, it's, it's such a, it's such a rare, rare quality, you know, that you don't see in, you know, especially my generation, I know that for sure. Right. You, know, you see that type of commitment to your craft to, to the point where you're willing to sacrifice any and everything for it. He doesn't come into the room starting at 0% and working his way to 100%. He comes into the room at 100% and then sees how far he can go. And then expects everybody in the room to be on that same type of time. 
And this is how Michael was in rehearsal. Michael was performing, performing in rehearsal. So just, you know, it's hard not to absorb that as Miles, you know, while I'm trying to, you know, absorb it and portray it as Michael. Before I let you go, Miles, because I could talk to you all day about this, um, <laughs> what would you say to other young performers out there that are finding their passion, and even if it's not performing, but some young folks that are finding their passion and wanting to move forward with it? Um, don't say no to your future self based on how you feel in, in this current moment. Mm -hmm. You know, because I couldn't do half a, or even a quarter of what I can do now back when I first got the role. Because mind you, I hadn't had any dance lessons ever up until this this show. I hadn't really had any any vocal lessons really up until this show. So I was coming in as a really just a raw talent. And had I said, you know what, <clears throat> I don't know, that's a big task. I don't think I'm a, I can do it. I'm a past. I wouldn't be talking to you right now. You know, so you have to have faith in what your what your future self will be able to do, what you will be able to accomplish and go off of that energy and feed off of that. So good. Well, it's hard to believe he didn't have really any no, formal training. No, until in his then. first high school mu or his first musical, he was a freshman in high school, and then eight years later, he's winning a Tony Award. Right. And he actually performed Billie Jean in a high school musical, and it's that uh -huh. video that caught the attention of people from the production. He does have that natural talent. I'm glad he, he, he leaned into that because sometimes you can be afraid yeah. to go and say, "Okay, I'm going to give this a shot." I can't wait to see him. I love that, Kristen.